How could the cutest goat on our farm be the biggest accident? <laughs> oh my gosh, it was though. And we had no idea. We were like, oh, for sure, Luna is not pregnant. Poor Luna, she's not on the breeding schedule. She will not get bred. She's too old, she's too fat. <laughs> and she's only got one cheat. <laughs> she's not the healthiest of goats. You guys know we struggle with bloating with her all the time. She's too big bones. She doesn't walk well, she has foot problems, she has bloating. She's just not the goat you want to breed. Well, we didn't want to breed Luna because she was just had all these little problems and she things. She was just really unstable. But when we brought the buck home, it was she, like it was all over. They she were was, best friends. Only would people like us bring something like this home. Yep. <laughs> We've got a buck, you guys. We've got a male goat. His name is Floki, and he's gonna come stay with us for a while so that he can breed some of our goats. So we brought him over because he was a Nigerian, and we have Nigerian goats mostly. Oh my god, what is Luna doing? She loves him. She's like, pay attention to me, love me. Luna? She loves him. She's rubbing all against him. Oh my gosh, <laughs> stop. He wants a kiss, Luna. Oh no. Luna, now wait, are we gonna have to worry about the fence between them and being able to breathe through the fence? No. Yeah, I don't think so. So as much as she loves the buck, we're not gonna do it. We're gonna hold to our original plan and instead we're gonna go ahead and stick to our Nigerian dwarf goats because that's our favorite breed of goat, our favorite taste of milk. And poor Luna is, she's done, she's done. We're gonna let her be a, a good old grandma, nanny goat. So I don't think that they bred at all that first day, but somebody left the gate open. Yeah, they actually got out a couple times and we don't understand how the gate was left open, but. Yeah, it, it was somehow left open. And so we thought she may be pregnant, so we did an ultrasound. Um, okay, so this is the one we hope isn't pregnant. Yeah, she she's, doesn't, she's, she's a bit pregnant. unstable. She's so we don't... well with pregnancy. Okay, so she is. She's pregnant. Oh my god. She is? She is. Yeah. Oh my word, Luna! <laughs> I thought you were too tall. Oh my gosh. We were told that Luna could have one or two, right? Yeah. And we thought she was two because she was so fat. Mm hmm Stella was a really big baby. She was really so big. So she could be split into two. But... <laughs> she was all white. She was so cute. Blue eyes. Is that your baby? It was actually pretty sweet to watch Luna be a mom to her. Luna is a really good mom, and mm -hmm. she's like protective. She's the best. She was so cute. She looked like a little lamb. She did. She grew so fast, and she became the big goat she is today. <laughs> I know. Today, she's huge. So it's kind of the best of both worlds, because she's got the Nigerian lines, those kind of good milking lines, and then she's got Luna's big old jeans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully she'll have stronger legs, though. Yeah, so far, Stella seems really healthy and has like nice sturdy legs and doesn't have some of Luna's problems, so. Now she's big enough to be trained to the milking stand. Oh, and it is going to be an adventure. <laughs> yep, training a new goat is never easy. So because she's such a big goat, we could potentially breed her earlier in the fall for yeah. spring babies. She's already as big as Willow. But we might wait and breed her in the spring for fall babies. We'll see. Right now, I've just got to teach her how to come up on the milking. <laughs> Luna? Ah! All right, so I was thinking what we could do. We can hold Stella. We're gonna try to train Stella to the stand. All right, so yeah, let me we... kick in this stand. Just... Oh, she did need it. To use the ram. All right. Hey, watch. Watch Stella. Okay. It's that Whoa, easy. That's... You see that? She's like, what is this magic? <laughs> okay, let's see hey, if Luna. we can get Stella to do it. Go on. So first we're gonna teach her that she has some food. See, she's never even tried this before. Yeah, this is yummy grain. Okay, now we're gonna let her out and we're gonna do it again. Okay. Oh. 
All right. There you All go. Right. That was easy. Yes. <laughs> Touch your teats. Well, she <laughs> Why does she put her little things together? <laughs> She's like her little hawks. Yeah. There you go. You're being milked. Hi, Shiva. You're all done. <laughs> Walk down the ramp. The ramp's the best. Oh, oh, she skips it. Many of you don't know that Luna is actually a rescue goat. We rescued her about six years ago and she's always just been kind of this goofy goat on our farm. And honestly, we were planning on retiring her and letting her just live her days out in our pasture, but she had other plans. I'm actually really glad that it turned out this way because Stella is a great addition to our farm and we're so excited to be able to raise her and love on her for the rest of her life.